Hey everybody, welcome back to more FNAF World. And I just got to solve the puzzle. So now, st instead of staying here, we're going to go and fight the boss. Also, yeah, I found some more animatronics, believe it or not. No, oh, screw you. Screw you, come here. You wanna be a fucking dick? Here, we just go all day. So, little end over here. Can do Neon Wall, which is really helpful. So we're obviously going to be using him. Well, of course the eye as well, because the eye is not going to be health. And I think I actually have enough where if I wanted to, I can go back to the um, mangle. You know what? I might just do that. Here, so. We'll go here real quick. So, all we gotta do. Oh, god. You guys are so tough. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Right? All jokes aside. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, I might have to move him up to... Oh yeah, I don't know why I did two plus traps. But, once we're up there, we'll switch it around. Let's go to a little bit. Okay, a little bit has to be around here somewhere. So you don't do anything useful, really. You do spring ball. Jesus. Yeah, we gotta switch up our setup here, because... Like... This just doesn't do anything. Like, I think what we'll do is we'll switch up how this is all organized. Okay. Oh, there you are. For now. Still Freddy, but shiny. Three. Go up to this a little bit, which I think actually I don't think I'm going to get. You two are going to be my lifesavers because not, I don't think I can do this fight. I just want to test how fast they go as well because I don't. Yeah, I barely don't have enough. I think I might get enough if I fight. Like, if I grind out a little bit. Okay, so party, we'll switch it up. Okay. So here's what we'll have. For the first party, we'll have these two and uh, Springtrap. Second party will be uh, Nightmare Chica, Golden Freddy, Paper Pals, just in case. And... You also have Gift Box. Cosmic Song. Okay. We'll test the waters. Because mind you, this game is still a game, so... I mean, I think you don't that, but... We gotta get as much help as we can right now. Alright, you only that. Ooh, there's a cool box. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I want to test out... 
to see how good this is all gonna do. Cause I don't know. Oh my god. I'm a little worried, honestly. Come back here. Save. Get to play a little bit. I forgot Toy Bonnie was in this game. God dang it, how did I forget Toy Bonnie was in this freaking game? What? 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 Fuck! Male, you know, female, it's a rabbit, who cares? Internet! And then I'm just gonna say, fuck it, just in case I can find chess. What? I. Okay! Just suck my. Neon Wall. Neon Wall's gonna help. Neon you know, Army's gonna help. Got the Neon Wall. I've never told you guys how much I hate rain. People are like, oh, that's weird, man. How? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. That I don't like rain. Okay. First, let's start with the Indo Army. Neon Wall. I guess here we go. Um, oh, all right. Real uh, neon wall. Into arm. Power cell. Strength 
wall. Jumpscares don't work on me. Armor song. We're done. Easy. And we are upgraded like high heaven. And we got a new challenger approaching. Okay, this is where it's going to be like confusing on who to get rid of. Because I think he does But I don't think it's going to be too tough. No, we're, but we're done. So that's it. Let's look at let's look at his stats. Okay. So literally he outclasses everyone else. You're level seven already. Okay. Uh, I don't honestly think there's anyone better. Um Hachi's too. I don't know if I want to do the update, honestly. Alright, here's where I'm going. Let's see how it goes. See, now we got Neon Wall. Hook. Wait, what? Is that like in, that's not the music for I love how, like, they don't leave you alone. I press... No one will leave me alone? That's fine. Guess what? I guess it ain't her turn. Alright, fine. Check this out.
Switch out my party real quick. You, you. Wait, actually, I want paper pals. You'll see why here in a minute. Then the backup team will bring. Wow, you got a lot of twos. You, you. Because like she also has gift boxes, so it's okay. We're just gonna need someone with healing ability. You don't have any healing abilities. You technically do, so you're fine. And then bring you. I almost have every character unlocked, which is unreal. Whenever I freaking first ever played this game back in like 2016, around that time, um, I thought it was impossible. No, oh, bruh. Why this game gotta do me like this? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. First, you do neon wall, get boxes. Just to make sure that we all have one. Mimic, then our main damage. It gives so much! And it gives me the Mind you, the, if it was like a pause or something, it would just keep going. Uh, power song. Tell you, it's like the 
perfect strategy. Until it like doesn't work. Okay. Down here. Do you? Oh my god! You found the exit! That's amazing! The giant pig lies on the other side of the sub-tunnel. He guards a key that opens a lock to the final guardian. Each guardian pro uh, protects a button. Once you have found and pressed the button, the game protects the game security system will be lowered. That's when you can strike the heart of whatever is corrupt in this world. Navigate your through the sub-tunnels, but remember don't... Yep. Here we go. Alright. Let's find the first glitch. Nope. Okay. Just gotta be careful. We slip. We slip even by a little bit. But if we slip up. Okay. I feel like I'm going the right way. I don't know. See, like, that's the thing with this world. Like, you can never know if you're going really the right way or the wrong way. Because this game makes you feel like you're doing it all the time. go through here, look for the other glitches. Any glitch up here? Nope. What's up here? Okay, I feel like I'm just going around in circles right now. Oops, I am. Okay. Okay, so from here, let's go right. We're up. Fuck that rain, man! Jesus! It just, like, rained so hard. Man, this is Okay, I think I found it. Ah. What? What the fuck did I walk into? I don't even know if that's... What? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Oh my god, this is giving me a fucking headache. I walked through something.
fuck do I go? Man, this is why I don't like fucking big games like this where they're like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta kinda hope for the fucking best. Like, the rest of the game wasn't like this. The rest of the game was like, yeah, there's some of this encrypted part, but you should find your way. There's dungeons if you need, like, bigger power-ups. There's chips you can get. Game, where the fuck do I go? You give me a map through most of the freaking game, but you don't give it to me for this. I'm not asking you to hold my hand the entire fucking time, but man, whenever I don't know where I'm going, give me a little bit of a fucking hint. Because you gotta make it look like this. Where I can barely fucking see it, it fucks with your eyes. I'm hoping I'm going the fucking right way. I don't know. The game doesn't really want to tell me. Oh look, I went through the same loop again! Sorry, I'm just so pissed off at this. No wonder nobody liked this. Like, literally, I like it, because it's kind of cool, like, it's a cool idea, they didn't have to make, like, like, cause, like, I mean, hey, try something new, ain't gonna kill no one. But fuck, man, whenever, like, I don't know where the hell I'm going, that's where I have an issue with it. it it's literally like, okay, you want to make an RPG. You want to do something new. That's cool. But make it to where people can fucking understand. I know he regrets it now. But he shouldn't have to. It's not a thing where he should be like, Man, I fucking regret making this shit. Don't feel bad. It's a fine game. But it gotta be... It needs to be better than... You gotta make it better than this shit. Because now I have to look up a fucking guide. Which I shouldn't have to do, by the way. Because the game should at least help explain it to you. Like, at least some shit. Because, like, fuck, man. What is this? I... You make it trippy in the fucking background. Believe it or not, it doesn't help. It really doesn't fucking help. You make it so calm and fucking looted. When it doesn't need to be. This game doesn't have to be like the most convoluted shit ever. Fucking god, dude! Oh, fuck it! I'll look up a guide right now! Ah, uh, that just ticks me off! You could've made this game! You could've made this game! Really fun! But I have to now look up a damn guide about it! And the rain outside ain't helping much either. Since I have to look up a guy. 
guy. I'm fucking pissed. Because I really feel like I'm just wasting time. I could literally be right now. I could be playing a game. Like Persona 5. Which I'm not asking Scott to make a game like Persona 5. But you want to know what that game does? That this game doesn't? It gives you a clear guide on what the hell you need to do. It doesn't hold your hand. It teaches you. Hey, this is how you do it. Wait, what did that guy do? Well, I gotta wait because I gotta look at a guide. And now it's fucking raining. So, my internet ain't working. Oh my fucking god. This is why... This is why whenever I... Hey, you know, I could barely tell that this fucking thing right here was glitching. Could you? Probably not. And I don't fucking blame a single one of you. You probably noticed and you're yelling at me. Which, I mean, hey, I understand. Maybe I should have fucking noticed. But whenever the game is like, whoa, this is supposed to trip you out, bro. And I can't fucking see shit. It's not going to make me very happy. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. I don't like those segments anymore. I thought they were fine. I think all my bites are still in order. Yep. Okay. Say my name. Okay. Alright,
Yeah? You really think you're gonna take me first? Oh, uh, just get a power up. Baseball. Watching it all happen. And it's hilarious. Yes, it is. But it's also kind of sad because that means that we're near the end of this game. <laughs> I think that's actually. I don't even care that we won immediately. I know we are already on the water, but let's go up here. Look at the guy one more time, and then we can just get going. I don't know, like, if there's any, any other bites I want. 
like here, I think I got everything. Well, three, I know I didn't. I know this ain't riveting. Um... Okay, so check this out. Hopefully you know this. Any indication? No? Okay, cool. This is how you get this. Okay. Pizza, what does it do? Everyone's favorite. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't think I actually upgraded Balloon Boy a single time. Just looking, uh, chips. I just think it's funny that. <sighs> That's actually pretty good. So metal mine, was it metal mine? Here. Yes, I think it was. Rain ain't helping because it's fucking loud and I have a metal roof, so it's like worse. Like infinitely worse. Oh, yeah, it's over here. Alright. Well, let's go. to the game security system if you've, uh, you have found all the buttons and you have should be clear. So you have a powerful furniture that I already have a shield of uh, you have someone who won't survive without it. Well, don't worry, I do. Um, I actually have Endo. And he has a good shield. Alright, let's go. Oh my fucking god. Cosmic Song. Mimic Ball. We are going to need this. 
super badly. Neon wall. I need a neon wall. Luckily, we have these two, like, on it, but I look... Wait, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, shoot. Uh... Oh, push it back, push it back. Okay, that, that at least had someone. I didn't mean to do that. If this doesn't work out... That was good. Oh shit, that's not the right idea. Yep. Yep. Uh, water hose. We got to get a neon wall. Yeah, for that. See, that's why you don't do mystery box at all. Oh, dang it. That was my bad. We got this. Stop calling me a watermelon. Never. Watermelon. I'm not gonna go back and do anything. Alright. What? What the fuck? What was that? All right, don't immediately start. entire time like god damn yeah he is more useful but jesus dude okay
Congratulations. You beat an imaginary monster in an imaginary game without taking any risk and without finding anything interesting. Difficulty. Great job, I'm still in control and I. Hey! Hey, fuck you! Ah. Oh. Thank God. So that's it. Uh, FNAF World. I think. I think that's it? Munich still. I thought at one part you fight Scott. Maybe that is on the hardest difficulty. I ain't gonna do that. So that is FNAF World. Um, final thoughts? It's okay. Um, I don't think I'll be doing the update. The update ain't anything interesting. Um, I don't think it's... I think that is actually the end. I want to just see something real quick. Do I have to wait? Okay, that is actually the end. In my opinion, uh, it's not one of Scott's best works. Um, there's many problems with it. Uh, balancing isn't the best. Um, it's fine gameplay-wise. I think there's a lot of potential for like a sequel if Scott makes a sequel. I don't think I would ever go back to it religiously or anything. I might come back like every few years just to see what it was like. This was my first time beating it, and it was okay. I I hear a lot of people like praise it as a good FNAF game. It's not a good FNAF game. Like, it's not even really a good RPG. It's a fine game. But comparing it to like FNAF World, I mean, uh, not FNAF World, uh, FNAF 2 and UCN and everything, I can't read it. Like anything higher than this, like a C. It's fine, it's okay. It's not bad, really, they're just, there's just nothing. It's just fan pandering, honestly. And, it, and it, there's nothing wrong with that. So that is it. I am done with FNAF World. Uh, that was just a small series. I didn't know actually how long it would be, I thought it would be longer. But, thank you all for watching. See you guys later. The end.